We bless your holy name, God. We thank you, O oh God. Come and have your way, Lord, this morning. Given us, we worship you. Build a throne, O oh Lord, even in the midst of our worship. In the name of Jesus, it's all about you, Jehovah God. Hallelujah. We bless you. We bless you, Lord. We bless your holy name. We bless you. We bless you, Lord. We bless your holy name. We bless you. We bless you. Bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Bless your holy name. Bless your holy name. This morning, Lord, we bless you. Bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Oh my God. Bless your holy We've come name. to bless you. We bless, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Oh, we bless your holy name. Lift your voice and bless.
to God, we bow before your throne. We bless your name, Almighty God. We bow before your throne. We bless your name, bless your name. Almighty God. Almighty God. We bow before you, Lord. We bow before you. Lift your voice and bless the name of the we Lord. Bless your name. Almighty God. Almighty God. We bow before we you, Lord. Bow before you. We bless your name. Yeah. 
Jesus, wherever you are, and magnify the name of Jesus. The name that is above every other name. The name, the name of Jesus. There's no other name anywhere by which we can be saved but by the name of Jesus. Oh God, therefore that name has been lifted above every other name. That at the mention of that name, every knee must bow. Oh, and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. To the glory of God the Father, we magnify your name this morning, O oh Lord. We exalt your holy name. We magnify you, Jehovah God, for you alone deserve all the glory. You alone up your holy name Jesus for there's no other name like you Lord oh we worship you Lord we give you glory Lord we give you all the praise oh we bless your name we glorify your name Jesus for you are wonderful oh God you are worthy of all our praise. You are worthy of all the glory. You are worthy of all the honor, God. We thank you, Jesus. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. We give you glory.
somebody lift a voice and say, We give you all the praise, my God. We exalt your holy name. You are worthy to receive our praises. You are worthy to receive all the glory. You are worthy to receive all the honor. You are worthy to receive all the adoration. We declare that you alone are wonderful. Wonderful even in this morning. Wonderful, oh God, in your ways. In the name of Jesus, you are wonderful, Lord. You are wonderful, Jesus. You are wonderful, God. Oh, Jesus. You are wonderful. Oh, my God. You are wonderful, oh Lord. We give you glory. We magnify your name. You are worthy 
worship you, our Lord. Yes, it is 
shouts of the glory. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we give you glory, Lord. We give you glory. Oh, Jesus, we worship you, our Lord. You are one. We give you all the glory. We give you Yes, Lord, we declare this day that from the rising of the sun to the priest where it is set in the evening, your name, O God, is to be praised. You are high and lifted up. You are high and magnified. There is nothing, there is no one in the heavens, in the land, in the waters that can compare to you, O God. Be magnified this morning. Be thou exalted today in the name of Jesus Christ. To the Tangazawe, dear Mungu, who metufikisha ubali who in this month of September, the ninth month of this year, Lord, we give you thanks. We give you thanks for your sustenance, O God. Even through the pandemic, O God, you have been our God. You have fought many battles. Many were the expectations of the wicked, but they, were, they came to naught because, O God, you have been on our side. Blessed be your name, Jehovah God Almighty. Blessed be your name, Jehovah God Almighty, this morning. Even in this month of giving birth, thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Even as we cross over to the next month of October, next tomorrow, oh God, I thank you for your crossing over with no evil carry over us in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercies. Welcome, Holy Spirit of the living God. Welcome this morning. Help us through. Teach us, Lord. Let your word come forth express it. Let your liberation, oh God, come through my Father. Let you speak to this individual. Let you speak to each and every one seeing, viewing, and watching. And he is listening to this message today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless you, Lord. We exalt you, Jehovah God. And this in mighty name, do we pray and give thanks. Amen, 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 amen. God bless you from wherever you are watching. Asante Praise and Worship Team, thank you for the good work. More grace upon your lives, even as you serve. Tuapigia makofi, kokote uliko, the Praise and Worship Team. We bless the Lord for the services they are offering, even as they serve God from this altar. Asubu ya leo, ni miyoko kama jinagu ni Pastor Isaac. Yesu ni mwana na hudumu kule Heaven's Gate Prayer Mountain. Na shukuru mungu kwa na hile nafasi na pia na hudumu ni kwa na kadisa la Kingdom Seekers kule Dandora, Nairobi, Eastlands. Na shukuru mungu kwa nafasi hii na heshimu mtubishu wa bana Apostle John Kemani William kwa kunipatia nafasi hii. Kudumu kwenye madhabahu haya. Once again, tunapoendea kwenye maombi. We should also pray for him, even for the great work. Ambayo mungu mempatia hiko kwenye mabega yake. Even as we serve with him, and even in this church without walls, I thank God this ministry, this uh, platform, be it social media, YouTube, NBC, Radio, NBC TV, it has been a blessing to many people in this nation and across the nations of the world. And with to that we say to God, be all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Hallelujah. Tashukuru mungu pia kwa wali in this uh, uh, season. Tumekuwa na pasta wa home uh, over the weekend. Uh, na pia tumekuwa na pasta mbogua, jana na juzi ya kiogea kuhusu malango. And we thank God for the teachings. This is a build-up 
event to next week's uh, prayer festival. A boy turns a Monday. He kamirike jumapiri tarehe kumina moja mwezi ujao. Uh, this is a direction that God gave to the servant of God, Apostle John Keman William. And I thank God for the many who have joined in. Uh, we, we have the friar to tie post on, on social media. Uh, Kiitaji, utaiza request. Na pia uh, in, in this uh, next season, we'll be majoring on uh, getting to the depth. Mamba bao ni akina. Mamba bao ni andani sana ya roho. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu... Uh, Mungu agetamani kututembelea, Mungu agetamani kufanya mambo kwenye maisha yetu. Lakini wakati mwingi kiwango kile tuko ndani yake kiko chini sana. Haleluya. Na ndio maana asubuhi leo nikitaka rabi kuendelea na topic yangu itakuwa ni spiritual invasion. Itakuwa na series uh, 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 vipindi vine leo asubuhi uh, na lunch ya leo na kesho asubuhi na lunch ya kesho uh, God willing and by his grace. Uh, this topic is uh, a spiritual invasion. What is spiritual invasion? Ni sebe koma ni uvamizi wa kiroho. Ni kuvamia maeneo. Ni kuvamia ulimwengu wa kiroho. Bile mungu alimuumba wanadamu, alimuumba in a way. Ya kwaba he is a man, is built in, is in built. Dan yake we are built in a, to be outgoing. Yeah, to, to conquer, to dominate. Na, that was the first, one of the a few directions of Mungu Zomugu alimpatia mwanadamu alipo muumba. Alimuumba, alimuambia, kati ya kumambia kwa a multiply, uh, pia alimuambia, dominate. No, no one ever dominated without an invasion. Now, we get to take the context from the Old Testament. Na, unakuta kwa in the Old Testament, even the Bible records that there, were, there was a season when kings used to go to war. Walikuwa nada vita kwa nini? Hawakuwa nada vita kwa sababu walikuwa na uhitaji furani. Si kwa sababu walikuwa melala njadi wakaenda kuvamia. No, they were going to war because they wanted now to take more land, to have dominion, to have a voice in the region. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And that is the lifestyle that a Christian should live. You should live a life of dominion. You don't go to spiritual warfare. Na, and I thank God, uh, as I've been ministering, there is something God has been speaking to me and ministering and also been uh, ushering and releasing that word every other time. Yakoba, gone are the days when people used to go to the mountains kwa sababu umefungiwa nyumba. Unaona sasa, uh, kwa sababu kule kwa mulima, maybe it is even cheaper kuka kule, uh, unaenda kule. Gone are, gone are those days. We are going to the mountains. We are going to the player session, not because we are in any need. Needs may be there. Sikatai, kuneze kuwa na maitaji, kuna hiri jabu getaka kufanya, una mwanmini ya mugu kuigare vonyigine. It is good. But, kando na hiyo, we go for war, we go for spiritual invasions, because we need to conquer more land. Because we need to be a voice wherever we are. Wegine tuko katika biashara. Wengine tuko katika corporate world. Wengine ni viongozi. Wherever you are, in families, you need to take more land. There is more space ya kuingia na kuvamia na kuchukua milk zaidi kwa ajili yako na kama sio kwa ajili yako, kwa ajili ya watoto wako na kama sio kwa ajili ya watoto wako kwa sababu ya the larger family. Unakuta kwamba in the Old Testament context, kila mara ni lazima wa, 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 wa falme, wa geda kwa vita. They would just go for spiritual expeditions, for, for battles. Uh, ni kama zikina ni za kujienjoy tu. Uh, watu wanaenda kwa muji mwingine. Wana muambia njini, habu kusikia vile tulifanya ule muji mwingine, na ulikuwa mkubwa kuliko wenu tafadhalini. You just surrender. Yani wanataka tu kuchukua, because the more you conquer, the more you dominate, the more you amass well. That was the context. And in the same way, the next prayer season starting Monday, it is launching into the deep. And unfortunately, many Christians are in the shallow waters. Very shallow waters. Very shallow waters. Na ni kwenye Ufuo wa bahali ya kiroho 
kuna mambo mengi sana ambayo hautaweza kuyajua kuna mambo mengi sana Mungu hataweza kukufunulia kuna mambo mengi sana ambayo yataendelea kutendeka kwenye maisha yako kwa sababu yale mambo yatendeki kutoka kwenye ufuo wa bahari ya kiroho yanatendeka kutoka kule vilindini na ndio maana ndio wewe uweze kuweza kukabiliana nayo ni lazima na wewe uingie kwenye kilindi ndio uweze kushughulikia ndio uweze kusolve zile shida zimetokana na kwenye vilindi vya kiroho bwana Yesu asiwe karibu sana watu wabao wana watch kwa facebook you unaweza share hiyo link unaweza start a watch party uh, wengine ambao wanafuata through uh, uh, apostle kibani social media platform ambayo ni uh, youtube na pia kuna apostle john kibani william uh, facebook page god bless you so much share that link so that they can reach as many people as possible amen now nimesema tu wengi ya kwamba wako katika ufuo wa bahari ya kiroho Ah uh, kuna tukio moja litokea kwenye maisha yangu siku moja in my ministry life. Na nikakuwa nimeokoka hiyo miaka ya 90s kule nimeserve nimekuwa katika ule mtoto wa kiroho, uchanga wa kiroho. Nikaanza ku minister at uh, levels, bibia kufundisha Sunday school, ushering hivyo. Nikakuja nikitoka kule bibi nikiletwa mbele finally nikakuwa assistant pastor hivyo, nikakuwa pastor. Na bado ina minister at one point in my life i started seeing things that were not going right even in my life nikiangalia my brothers nikiangalia my sisters i ninaona kuna kidai some there's a some missing link i can't tell exactly what ah uh, na nikasema kuanzia sasa i'll get to nitaingia kwenye kiwango kingine sasa cha kutafuta mungu okay kabla nifike hapo acha nirudi nyuma kidogo wakati ambapo Mungu alikuwa ananiita kwenye huduma ya nijue kwamba niko na mwito wa uchungaji it was uh, imetanguliwa na a very hard season for my one of the hardest seasons of my life is when i had not discovered my calling what god wanted me to fulfill wanted me to become wanted me to achieve na sikakuwa na wakati wa ile maisha ya trial and error unajaribu hii unajaribu hile unatoka mji huu unaenda mji mwingine na nikakuja kuhudua kwamba <laughs> even if you change a geographical location and your spiritual location has not yet changed it may not bring any f- a profit to your life kuna watu hata wanaweza make najua naongea na watu hata wako kwenye nchi za nje ya kwamba hata kuna watu wameshaenda nchi za nje wakarudi wakaniambia pastor mimi nimeenda mpaka nchi fulani nimefanya kazi nikakuja na pesa but today i can't tell you zile pesa nilipata zilienda wapi it is because you only changed the geographical location but you never changed your spiritual location sasa ikawa kwamba nimeteseka ikafika mali nikakuwa tu kwenye mfungo nikamwambia mungu what is the problem ndio mungu akaniendelea akaniambia mimi nimekuita Haya mambo mengine yote ambayo mnajaribu hayako kwenye mpango wangu. Kile na kuitaji kwa sasa ni ujipatiane kwangu nimekuita. That's what the first time nisikia Mungu akuenenea mambo ya mwito wangu. And he didn't stop there. The Holy Spirit akaliza swali that wa, that single sentence mpaka siku ya leo it clicks in my mind like it was yesterday. Akadia kaniuliza kama ningekuambia wewe unafaa kuwa neurosurgeon eh mwenye kupasua maybe mioyo kupasua uh, uh, wenye kupasua ta vichwa vya watu wanatoa growth how, how what could have cost how, uh, what could have happened am i the soul ilikuwa kama ningekwambia wewe ungekuwa ni surgeon ingechukua muda gani kutayarika wa of course hapo siku itaji majibu nilijua nilijua kwamba hiyo ingechukua miaka saba, miaka minane, ya masomo ya kutumwa uh, 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 attachments unaenda una kutazama wengine wakifanya wakati mwingine unapatiwa kufanya upasuaji Seven years non stop the holy spirit told me the same way i want you to invest your time your money your resources into what i have told you you have 
nilibidi nikakaa chini nikaandika yale mambo ninafaa kufanya na kuacha kufanya mambo nafaa kuwekeza kurudua vitabu kuwa na biblia yangu kuenda mikutano kufunga Ika, ni lazima nikatengeneza nika format ikajitengenezea time table ya maisha yangu how i spend my day the hours i take in prayers the hours i take by, in bible study the books i should read at least in a month ninafaa kusoma vitabu kama vingapi because it is one for children kuta kwamba christians wakati tunapookoka alafu unakaa another mistake inafanywa na dibi inasema do not lay your hands hastily on any man unakuta kwamba baada ya muda kidogo unaanza kupatiwa positions zile positions sometimes you need to step out si kwamba utaondoka kwa ile position but sometimes you need not to allow the position you have been given to enter into your heart into your mind ya kama mimi mzee wa kanisa mimi ni deacon it makes you feel like you are somewhere yet you are nowhere in the spiritual matters uko hapa kwenye ufuo wa bahari na mambo ambayo unafaa kushughulikia nayo yako kule kwenye kiridi cha bahari na nitataka kwa tufunguliwe ama tu, tuwekewe kwenye scripture kwenye kitabu cha Isaiah 28 verse 9 nikaweze ku build up my my someone on that uh, Isaiah 28 tazama mstari wake wa 9 uh, na wakubi the bible says who is he trying to teach to who is he explaining his message to children weaned from the milk to those just taken from the breast stand for it is do and do do and do rule on rule a little here a little there turudi tena kwa version ya uh, okay wacha tusome verse, verse 11 kwanza uh, kisha utarudi utaitwekea zote kwa new king james version uh, to cover stand okay very well verse 11 with fallen lips and stretched tongues god will speak to his people sa turudi the three verses uh, kwa king james version ama new king james whichever whom will he teach knowledge and whom will he make to understand the message those just wind from the milk uh, those just drawn from the breasts mm-hmm. for precept must be upon precept upon uh, precept upon precept line upon line upon line here a little there a little as 11 for with us with stammering lips and another tongue he will speak to his people Haleluya. Asante. Isaiah, Mungu anataka kupia mtumishi wa Bwana Isaiah. Anasema, haya mambo ni nani ninafunulia? Ni nani ninaelezea mambo haya? Ni mambo gani haya naongea? Ni mambo haya very deep. Very deep spiritual things. Anauliza, who am I going, who am I giving this information? You know hivyo ndivyo Mungu inashangaa. Sasa nikuja bali nilikuwa naelekea. Ah uh, Nimeo so ni miokoka nime uh, nimeelewa kuna mambo Mungu amenielekeza jinsi ya kujipanga maki maisha yangu ili ni build up my the capacity ya kuwa pastor kwa sababu it is not enough to have a calling you need to work out on it now at some point Mungu kaza kunielekeza kwenye mifungo ya siku nyingi sana ningemaliza hii nina break kidogo ninarudisha kwa nyingine nina break naenda kwa nyingine Then in the midst ya, ya, ya hizo fastings Mungu akaanza kunifunulia mambo mazito sana and this was my question this was my question and it really it, it really opened up my mind and my spiritual man na ndio ningetaka kushare na wewe siku ya leo mara nijiuliza by the time Mungu alikuwa anifunia mambo haya niko ndani ya wokovu over 15 years na sio mtoto wa kiroho nime ni, kuligana nikijiambia nikijipima nilikuwa naona nimekoma nimefika am somewhere he kumbe kuna mambo ambayo ukiwa kiwango fulani cha kukua kwa kiroho Mungu hata atashughulika na wewe maana anasema who am i going to deliver, to deliver this message huyu nikifunia mambo kama haya wakati kama huu hata haisi akaendelea atakuwa discouraged 
So unakuta kuna mambo yanaendea kwenye maisha yako, umeokoka, unaendelea na unafanya kila kitu unaona unafaa kufanya na I thank God for the many uh, 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 feedbacks you have received from the uh, uh, John Kiban William uh, uh, page uh, kwa emails, kwa inboxes, kwa zile SMS tunapatiana, uh, SMS lines. Unakuta mtu anakuambia pastor mimi nimekuwa nilianzana na nini the first prayer festival nikafunga ya pili nikafunga ya tatu but nothing seems to be happening ningetaka kuencourage mtu asubuhi leo nikwambie it is not that there is nothing happening it is that you just started a journey into the deep huwezi anza safari pale Mombasa unaelekea kule India na Meli na inafaa kuchukua 7 days then siku ya tatu waze kusema ah it's like tulidaganywa kila mahali naona ni maji upande wa kushoto kulia na nyuma na mbele ni maji no you are in a journey you are headed to a destination nikamuko akanielea kwamba mambo haya sige kufunduliwa ukiwa kiwango kile ukiwa on the blessed wakati uko na kunywa maziwa sige kunufunulia mambo haya mambo haya yanafaa inafunuliwa mtu ambaye amefika kiwango cha kuelewa good and bad ha? amefika kiwango cha kwamba unaweza deal na heavy stuff going and launching into the deep is now being given the, ni kuingizwa kule ndani kule uko na uwezo wa kuogelea wa kushughulikia mambo mazito ya kiroho na wakati ule ume develop spiritual muscle kwa hivyo asubuhi ya leo ningetaka kuambia kukuambia hivi na kukuencourage hivi that even if you have been in the prayer session sessions and season for the second time this is the third time we are, we are still pressing on and you seem like nothing is happening usikubali kuhubiriwa na shetani you are still on the right path haleluya na wengine Mungu anazidi sasa dia na kushapen. The good thing about spiritual growth. Na nisipatie ni disclaimer kama moja ama mbili za spiritual growth. You are not spiritually mature by the days and the years you have been in salvation. That is one misconception. Ya kwamba wewe watu wengi huwa wanajandaganyika anasema ah mimi nimekaa kwa wokovu miaka kumi. niliokoka mwaka wa fulani na nimehudumu nime nimetumikia mkuu hiyo miaka yote two you are not spiritually mature by the position you are given in church bwana yesu asifiwe that's another great misconception unakuta mtu kwa sababu ako kwa position fulani hata kukitano ota call fulani hawezi tokea maana position inamkula wakiona ati nimetokea ni nilikuwa na shida fulani watanionaje bwana yesu asifiwe job akasema job that it akasema if i feared men if i hid my sin because i feared men like men do kuna watu ambao hata wakikukita lota kwa na anajua yeye ni victim hawezi tokea kwa sababu ya class ameingizwa ile position amepatiwa kwa church inamuonyesha kwamba ya fai kutokea kwa lota call that's a great misconception and it is good to work against your breakthrough your dominion hallelujah So you don't be, you are not spiritually mature because you are serving in a certain office that does not haisemi kwamba wewe umeokoka ati ati kwa sababu umeokoka unatumika na umekaa kwa miaka fulani kwenye wokovu you may be in that position but you are not yet mature sasa ndio mtumishi wa bwana anasema who shall he teach this message who shall he make this understand this doctrine them that are read from the milk as we are talking kuingiza kutoka level ya maziwa mungu anatamani anatamani yakoba toke level ya maziwa tuingie hiyo level nyingine verse 11 to verse 11 anasema for with a stammering lip and another tongue will he speak to his people another version niv niv version Very well then with fallen lips and strange tongues God will speak to his people. Unaweza kwenye kitabu cha John chapter 8 verse 43. John 8 verse 43. Tushikanishe. So anasema kwa lugha tofauti. Yesu akauliza, Why don't you understand my speech? Because you're not able to listen to my word. Ni hiyo tu. 
Uh, that was only. Uh, part time, when I just saw the context, uh, it, it, it's a bit different. Akini, and I will say, "Kwa dini amwerevi? Why don't you understand my speech?" Yadi Yesu, and I will say, version again. I think it's King James in the same. Why is my language not clear to you? Because you are unable to hear what I say. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. Wakati anapo wangia kuhusu hearing the word. Yes, wangia kuhusu. Kuna hile lugo likuwa natumika wakati njakati zile. Maybe alamic. Wengine likuwa natumia Greek. Pia kirumik likuwa kina tumia wakati ule. There were many languages. There was the official language. Kuna zile native languages. Of course, maybe kiongea na waisiraidi. Yalikuwa na wangiesha na kiyahudi. Or maybe an Aramic because it was a bit dominant in those times. So how gay kuhusu the language ya maskio apana anaongea kuhusu mambo ya kiroho. Yesu wakasema hivi. John 6, 63. Tuso mepare 60. John 6, 63 and 64. It is the spirit who gives life the fresh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit. And they are life. But there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were, who they were, who did not believe and who would betray him. To live at 63. And asema, kile kinafanya watu wakose kwerewa, kile anaongea, ni kwa sababu, the words he was speaking, they were spirit. They were spirit. Hallelujah. The words he was speaking, they were spirit. Therefore, nakini wale anaongeresha, anaongea na kano people. They could not connect. They were in a different realm. Yes, wanaongea from the spirit realm, nakina wanaskiza from the kano realm. They could not connect. Akawaliza, bona hamusiki, bona wakati napoongea, hamuelewi kile inasema. Anasema haya basi, with a straight tongue and a foreign language, shall I speak? Why are, will he speak and not people will not hear? They will not hear because they are not tuned to the realm of the spirit. If you are going to be able to make spiritual invasions, Ni lazima tuwe na uwezo, we develop the, 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 the ability to hear into the spiritual realm. Kusikia mamba mbao hausiki na masikio haya kawaida. Kuona mamba mbao hauyaoni na macho haya kawaida. Kwa sababu wakati ukianza kuona na kusikia kutoka kwenye ulimwengu wa kiroho, kuna mamba mbao utaansa kusikia, kufahamu, kupambanua ya kwamba hii ni mungu, hii siyo mungu. Haya ni, mawazo, haya ni mawazo yangu. Hiyo ni sauti ya shetani. Nisimu wakati mungu walipo nifunuria. Nilisoma lesson kubwa sana. Ambao kwa, pa, kwa pa kubwa ili nistua sana. Nani kasema how many? Che ni wangapi ambao wame, wame daganyika kwa kukaa kwa wakovu miaka mingi. Wame daganyika kwa sababu ya dini yao. I thank God for this church without walls. Huh? God has raised a church. I think the video, uh, 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 Yesu alikuwa naongea. Akipo kuwa na mwambia Peter. Mwambia I'm raising a church. There is a church God has been raising. Even in this COVID-19 season. There is a church God is raising. That the gates of hell shall not prevail against. Hallelujah. Na mina amini. I am part of this church. You are part of this church. Kwa sababu hauta ruhusu tena. Unaongea kusu dini yetu. Unajua kanisa yetu. Hakuna mwabu tena ya kanisa yetu na didi yetu. It is about the body. Waigi wame, wame confess. Hata kwa Facebook, kwa, kwa social media. Wanao jibu, wanao, wanao fanya uh, uh, maybe kujibu maswali na kuuliza maswali. Wanasema mwabu habaya butu mesikia. Hatu jai sikia. Anasema nisikia kubiri hili neno. Nikasikia haya mwabu diyo huwa napitia. Na kwetu, nimejaribu kweda kuambia anaye tuongoza. Ana kuambia pana hiyo achana na hiyo. Hiyo ni doto. Hiyo ni doto tu wachana na yo. Ah, hiyo ni imagination yako. Lakini anaendelea kuteseka. We thank God for the plat- this platform in Jesus name. May it live to deliver many. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Tumiona mambo. Jana, like two days ago. Mbuto ya menipigia simu kutoka inji anchi. 
So ana share na mimi experience ambayo amekuwa nazo amekuwa kifuata uh, on social media kifuata MBC Radio TV uh, maybe wengine wana stream ngine anatazama maybe kupitia kwa kwa Facebook. Ana maybe experience ambayo amekuwa nazo. Visitations mahali yako nako nje ya nchi. So it imetufundisha kwamba there is somewhere we are headed as the church. The days ya kwamba ni lazima mtu akuje hapa kwa madhabahu na akirima mikono dio jambo litendeke go na the days go na the days mungu anataka tuingie kwenye viwango kiwango ambacho philip alikuwa ameingia ambako anahudumia mtu hapa the next moment na hakubebwa na ndege na hakuchukuliwa na, na, na farasi ana disappear from here anaonekana another city this is where god is taking the church the times when god is going to take people's spirits and they go and minister sasa utataka nipige simu kanambia vile amekuwa so akiniambia nikataka nimwambia short prayer so akizidi kushia na, na, na mimi nikaanza kusikia a very funny sensation kwenye koo langu ni kama moto ni kama kuna kitu kinatendeka ni kama kuna ni kama nimekupata ugonjwa of course that is the word of knowledge nikamuuliza alipomaliza kule mbe kilikuwa na mbe nikamuuliza na umekuwa na shida gani kwenye koo lako akashtuka from the other end akanambia pastor kuna wakati nilikuwa naenda kwa chai kabla sijaokoka na kuna vitu nilikuwa napewa ninakunywa ninakunywa kila mara tunabeba tufanya hivi tufanya hivi tutoe hii tukunywe hii tunakunywa certain fruit whatever it was na karibia kutoka siku hiyo amekuwa akisikia that sensation na ile sensation ikitokea kwenye koo lake anakuwa na attack kubwa sana kwenye maisha yake anakuwa na kukataliwa anapata pesa lakini zile pesa hazimsaidii nikamwambia kila mkono wako kwenye lile ko nikaanza kumwambia from this end na simu na yako the other end the other end of the world nikimwambia nikasikia mtu ameanza kukohoa pao pao nikazidi kukemea nikakemea ile mapepo finally akafunguliwa akiwa peke yake ako the other world i thank god for this platform there is somewhere god is taking the church mgidi alipatia ushuda akaniandikia akaniambia ako kwenye county nyingine dik narok akaniambia alio ali alikuwa anaendelea kwa maombi akizama wakati maombi iko inaendelea about to ngosa hapo body devotion akasikia mengia kwenye roho akatoka akaona yeye hayuko kwenye ulimwengu tena akaingizwa kwenye ulimwengu wa kiroho akaona the spirit man wake akaona minyororo ilikuwa imefunga imemfunga kwenye shingo kwenye mikono kwenye miguu kwenye mwili imekatwa yote akaona imeangushwa hapa kwa haya madhabahu hapa mbele hapa ni naudubia according to his chains zimianguka what is god telling us we have dwelt so much in the shallow waters we need to launch into the deep you have been akasema ako sawa anaenda kanisani ameokoka lakini alishangaa kuona kwamba kuna minyororo imeishi imemfunga na akasikia kutoka that moment akasikia niambia ikasikia mwepesi nikakuwa na wepesi wa kufunga nikakuwa na wepesi nitazamani kifungua neno ninakuwa na uzito nikakuwa na wepesi katika maombezi nikakuwa na wepesi kwenye maisha yangu oh may the lord receive all the glory in the name of jesus christ haleluya kwenye kitabu cha first corinthians chapter 2 verse 6 7 and 8 first corinthians chapter 2 6 7 and 8 the bible says however we speak wisdom among those who are mature note that mature inaogea kuhusu mature we speak wisdom among those who are mature yet not the wisdom of this age nor of the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing next verse but we speak the wisdom of god it is in a mystery the hidden wisdom which god ordained before the ages for our own glory which none of the rulers of this age knew for we have for if they had known they would not have crucified the lord of glory hapa nikataka kuuzia mambo mawili one inaogea kuhusu maturity two inaogea kuhusu mysteries anasema paulo anasema mabaya tunaongeresha watu ambao ni machua if there is something you need to push through in this season of of, of prayer festivals is for your spiritual growth 
anasema haya mambo naongeresha i speak this wisdom and this mysteries to the mature mature in the spirit why is god focusing so much on maturity because it is sons who inherit as much as we, we can talk over a uh, uh, spiritual inventions kuna mambo mungu hata kuaminia until ukomai na bibi nasema kwenye kitabu cha wahibilania twende kwenye kitabu cha wahibilania 6 tunaanza uh, 512 of uh, wahibilania wahibilania 5 Uh, 5:12 the last uh, few verses it says for though by this time you ought to be teachers you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of god and you have come to need uh, okay take a niv a niv is uh, more express niv in fact though by this time you ought to be teachers you need someone to teach you the elementary truths of god's word all over again you need milk not solid food uh -huh. anyone who lives on milk being still an infant is not acquainted with the teaching about righteousness next chapter chapter 61 therefore let us leave the elementary teachings about Christ and go on to maturity not laying against again the foundation of repentance from acts that lead to death and of faith in God next verse instruction about the baptisms laying on of hands the resurrection of the dead and eternal judgment hallelujah tufikisha hapo bibi nasema hivi though wakati huu mnafaa kuwa ni walimu lakini bado mnahitaji maziwa anaambia we need to outgrow we need to outgrow the elementary level ya wokovu na nimesema kwamba watu wengi wamedagajika kwa miaka ile wamekaa kwa wokovu. Lakini in this season of church without walls unakuja kujua haujui. Paka unashangaa haya. Where was I? Kuna mmoja alipiga simu akauliza pastor, kwani tulikuwa gapi? Kwani tulikuwa dunia gani? Nikamwambia mlikuwa tu katika wokovu. It is only that ulikuwa kwenye ufuo sana wa bahari. Sasa Mungu anaanza kukuingisha kwenye kilindi. Anasema mambo haya hata ya kuwekelewa mikono ni elementary teachings why are things happening na watu waekelewa mikono kwenye madhabahu it's because even mambo ya kuwekelewa mikono ni mambo ya basic it is just elementary teachings about salvation baptisms ha yeah? unajua watu wengine wanalinga mimi hata niko na kadi ya ubatizo nimekelewa mikono nimekula hii sacrament hata hii ngine nilifunguliwa juzi before covid nilikuwa nimekula sacrament tano nilikuwa nimebakisha mbili It is not about that. It is about launching into the deep. Kuna kuna itikadi, kuna religious rituals tutazifanya zitudanganya kwamba tunamjua Mungu, ya kwamba tunaingia kwenye kilindi ili hali tuko hapa kando ya mito. Mungu anatamani ya kwamba tuingie kwenye kilindi. We need to leave behind those elementary teachings and venture into the spiritual depths. Kwa sababu tukiingia kwenye vilindi tutaweza kufunuliwa na kuingia kwenye kilindi it is about walking in the spirit. Revelation chapter 1 verse 10 who will join the revelator. Anasema hivi Revelation 1:10. Anasema on the on the Lord's day I was in the spirit. And I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet. Anasema ile siku ya Bwana nilikuwa ni hiyo tu verse ya kwanza nilikuwa nataka tusome alikuwa ndani ya roho akiwa ndani ya roho that is when he heard a loud voice it was when john the revelator was in the spirit that he heard kama kuna eneo utajiombea this asubuhi leo ningetaka tukumeje na hiyo moja it is the area of hearing god not from the physical realm but from the spiritual realm anasema nilikuwa katika roho nami nikasikia nilikuwa katika roho nami nikaona na dinona wakati ameanza kuongea mambo ambayo aliona ni mambo ya dunia it is in a different realm anasema niliona kitu kinakaa kama 
it looks like and you know akati nopo sawa kama kitu it something looks like the other it doesn't mean it ni ni ile kuna jaribu kutafuta lugha ya kano ya kizungu ya kiswahili ya kikuyu ya kuelezea kile aliona kule because spiritually I'm is full of mysteries na dio first kolibia inasema inasema na ukia kuhusu mysteries deep things mambo ambayo sio ya kawaida dio mara kuna mambo utaanza kuongea ya kiroho watu wanaona kwa mdomo wanashanga haya hiyo mambo nimetoa wapi mtu anasoma biblia kwa sababu ako amesikia kutoka kwa Mungu ako na revelations paka unaangalia biblia yako kama ni hiyo unasema ni hiyo biblia paka unasoma ikiwa upside down uone kama amesoma biblia nyingine ni hiyo tu it is the same verse but the depth from which he is speaking that word is different the different people may preach John 3:16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son the same verse lakini kuna mtu anaweza ihudumu nimeshaisikiza mtu mmoja akihubiri that verse i got shocked by the revelations he got from that one piece of scripture one verse hallelujah sasa anasema ndio tukirudi kwenye exact teach anauliza who am i speak this language yes anauliza why are you not able to hear me it is not about listening or the ability to listen to aramic or that jewish language ama kigreek ama kirumi or whatever language he was using it was about connecting getting to the into the realm of the spirit unajua ukisikia mbwa akibweka to a human being kwa mwanadamu mbwa akibweka ni ni kubweka tu it's just another back but in the dog realm it's a communication mbwa anaweza sikizana in the whole village mbwa akibweka na jia fulani unasikia zote kwa village zinabweka because they are communicating that but to a human being it is just a back but in the dog realm it's a communication sasa unazaenda mahali mbwa ibweke ibweke na wewe unaendelea kutuna safari yako sasa mbwa inashangaa bona huyu namwambia asipite hapo na asiki nasema we usipite hapo hapa tupitangi hapa hiyo ni jia yetu usiingie hapa wenye hawako na wewe unaendelea tu sasa mbwa inashangaa na of course itafanya kile inafaa kufanya itakuuma. Na huyu anashangaa boda umbo imeniuma. Na huyu anashangaa boda huyu wako nisikia. It's because you are in two different realms. The dog realm and the human realm. So kuna wakati Mungu atakunenea. Anataka kukufundisha mambo ya kina. Mambo ambayo yako very deep in the spirit. Lakini na wewe unalileta na Mungu from the carnal realm. From spiritual infancy. Unataka Mungu akufunulie mambo ambayo yako kule ndani? Na wewe uko hapa. Nakwambia hapana, kuja, kuja. Nawaambia kuja, nikaribie. Come to the deep. Na dio Yesu alimwambia Peter, akamwambia, "Come." Unataka experience a different you need a different experience? Come. Toka kutoka kwa hiyo boat. Toka kwa hiyo comfort zone. Kuja. Akaanza kutembea when he stepped in, he was not now in the physical realm he was walking in the spiritual realm niseme kama kuna kitu tunatamani msimu huu na mimi kama kuna tamanio niko nalo ni kuingia kwenye mambo ya kiroho kutembea ndani ya roho walking over situations walking over situations hallelujah in this context nimekuwa ni study sana kitabu cha Ezekiel and to say the least um, uh, 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 i envy this servant of god the levels ambayo ile liam mtumishi wa bwana alikuwa na operate from ezekiel ezekiel tukisoma chuo chapter 1 maybe uh, like two verses uh, ndio niweze kuaida pasibu ya leo tuweze kuomba ezekiel chapter 1 verse 1 do that was verse 1 the bible says the first in the 13th year in the fourth month of the fifth day while I was among the exiles by the kebal river the heavens were opened and i saw the visions of god kwanza tushikiri ile verse anasema yeye ilikuwa mwaka wa 13 he is so precise of the month and of the date the specific of the week anasema alikuwa katikati ya the other exile katika kebal river na akiwa miongoni mwao under the same conditions 
under the same pressure, the heavens were open and he saw the visions of God. The next verse, verse 7. On the fifth day of the month, it was fifth year of the exile of King Jehoiachin. Next verse. The word of the Lord came to Ezekiel, the priest, the son of Buzi, by the Kebaliva, in the land of the Babylonians. There, the hand of the Lord was upon him. To Malizia. That is the introduction of the ministry of Ezekiel. He was among us, the other exiles. Just as we are among us, the world. We are all victims. Wakati COVID-19 imekuja, haikukuja kwa liyo koka na waliyo koka hawaku fuatiwa apana. It came to all of them. Liche ya hiyo condition. They were in exile. They were in the same condition. They were under the same pressure. They were under the same oppression. But he was walking in a different realm. He was walking under an open heaven. I thank God for Pastor Bogu. I was here, Yosana. Sigeta kuigia kule. You can watch the previous videos here, Jana. Najuzi. An open heaven. And what happened? The next thing in the assembly called, I heard. The third thing in the I saw. Meaning, the functionality of seeing and hearing the spirit is working under an open heaven. Is also about your spiritual growth. Ezekiel alikuwa amel to grow the situation. I thank God, Pastor Bogu alikuwa sana yojana. Many a times we allow the situations to dictate our spiritual life. It should not. Ezekiel was in the spirit in the Lord. Say. He was among us, the exile. Yet he saw, he heard. This one auliza. Bona hamski sauti yangu. We give auliza, Pastor. How does God speak? Let me tell you, even now God is speaking. Even tonight, God spoke to you through dreams. Lakini, anajaribu kuonkea, anaugea ruga ya kiroho. Na yu naamuka asubui, unaza kuita preti feseko. Anajaribu kukuongeresha. Na hali, ulikuwa natakuenda mahali. Mambo inaleta, kuna kuona confusion, unakosa kuenda. Una sema, shidwe shetani, si shetani. God is speaking to you. Pana yesu asiwe. Na niseme, mi kama kuna kitu. That's why me, to me prayer. It should not even be a festival. Ten days, seven days. It should be a lifestyle. Yakoba ta tuki break from the last fast festival. Nina ogeza siku kada. Nina igia pasio fasting because there is a window of opportunity that has opened in this season that may never open for the next many years. Kuna kitu muko mefungua musibu hu. And attack a yote bena skia sauti in this church without walls. Kuna mlango muko mefungua. Now, okay, how this one was in Gandhi, in Wakalisagani, Apana, it is an opportunity that has opened. Get through that door. Grow as fast as you can. Kula neno. Okay, I'll get to that later. The book of Ezekiel. It, it, it is so rich in the things of the spirit. Ezekiel, he had so much ease. Because if there is something you need to pray to God, one, I want to grow. The Bible says, the book of Galatians, so long as the heir is a child, he differs nothing from a slave. Atazidi kukaa chini ya mawakili, mali yake itaangaliwa na mawakili, mpaka ataka pokoma, afike kiwango chakonza kuwaminiwa mambo mazitu. Pana Yesu asifiwe. My prayer this morning is that we develop ears that hear. The Bible says, ears that hear and eyes that see. It is the Lord who gives them both. Nikumanisha, all we need to do is when we go before God in prayer, open the eyes of my heart. Open my eyes. I pray, I pray that the eyes of your understanding may open. To some, to, to one, one eighteen. I pray that the eyes, of, uh, uh, the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you and the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints. Weka King James Version of the same. King James Version of the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory for, or, 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 the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Kumanisha, kuna utajini mkubwa sana. Tuende next verse. Aha. 
And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power. And I say, katika ulimwagu wa kiroho kuna utajiri mkubwa. Kuna utajiri mkubwa. Kuna mambo mazito. Amba mungu anatamani kutuelezea. Lakini ana, mara napo tunenea. Anauliza hilo swali. Anauliza kwenye kitabu cha Isaiah 28. To whom am I teaching this? Dio anataka. Naona anateseka ndio. Kuna mambo nikitaka kufunulia kuhusu maisha yake. Lakini sana niambia nani? Mtoto huyu ambaye bado ako koma titi. Bado ako katika abu kudu. Nitaanza kufundisha mambo ya cemetery. Nitaanza kufundisha mambo ya calculus. Nitaanza kufundisha mambo ya valency. Of an element. Hallelujah. Huwa anasema hivi, mtoto ambaye ako class 5 amesoma. Mtoto ambaye ako class 8 pia amesoma. A four four student amesoma pia. Mtoto ambaye ako second year kwa university amesoma. Mwabaya amemaliza mwaka wa 4 na kanaka graduate amesoma. Lakini zile masomo haziko katika kiwango kimoja. Kuna kitu ambacho mtu ambaye amefanya university ataweza kusolve ambaye mtu wa form 4 hawezi akasolve. It is the same in the spiritual matters. Ata ukiona tumejaa makanisa, tuko tumeka apostle huwa anasema this statement. It made me laugh for the first time. Lakini I understood. Akasema, it is only in a church. Unakuta wabaya mtoto wabaya ako kindergarten, class one, class five, form four, third year, masters, wote. Tunakaga kwenye level, tuko kwa sitting moja. Kwa hivyo wakati neno nilapo kuja, hata tunapo nisikiza kwenye social media, na kwa TV, na kwa radio, ni kuambie, hatuko levo moja, hatuko levo moja, we are in different levels. Ukiabia mtoto, ukiaza utai watoto wako shure, mtoto wako class 3, waza kumsumi, formidisha science, of course, wanafurisha mambo ya air, water, na nini. Kizu kiaza kumabia mambo ya morality, na valency, na value of a of an element. Na weni yanko yake, atakuja abia mama yake. Anko yetu anahaza kuwa mweda wazimu. Iye mabu anaogea, ni kama talara wa hakiri. Ni watabia mama yake akikuja jioni. Kwa sababu, yale mabu unamuambia siyo kiwango kile. I pray this morning in the name of Jesus that we are going to grow. In this season, God has given us an opportunity to outgrow, to outgrow those religious barriers. To outgrow, iyo miyaka mbo tume danganyika, ya kwa mkisa mwini, elder wa kanisa, I'm somewhere, you, ni mwini nasawa kwa nikitabu cha revelation, you think that you are rich, umejitakanya, you don't know you are poor, you are wretched, you are in want. I'll just pray that this season, tutakubali, tuelewe, ya kwa mba you may be in a position, you may be maybe serving, in whatever capacity, maybe in a very conspicuous position, kama hii yangu, kama prison worship, anaoneka na kila bahari, lakini, ni kuwabia usidaganyike. Work out your life. Work out your ministry. Work out your calling. Work out your ability. Sharpen your ears to hear God. Mana mungu waka kunenea. Kupitia ndoto. Ndoto isa, isa, nilia mbaba suwezi ingilia sabu ya leo. But, the realm of dreams Iko na mambo mazitu sana mungu wanafundianga watu. Anakunenea kupitia kwa ndoto. Anakuambia wacha hii. Wacha hile. Fanya hii. I thank God kule mulimani na pudumu. One of the isa mungu wanafundianga sana. The first one I think God gave me when I went to to that mountain. Mungu wanafundianga na Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Tuwekewe ye verse. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. Mina sema, call to me and I will answer you. And tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Hallelujah. Yakoba ni ite. Nami nitakuitika. Nitakuonyesha mambo makubwa usio ya jua. Awe ni mambo gani? Ni mambo ambayo hayako katika ufuo wa bahari ya kiroho. Ni mambo ambayo ya nimetendeka kwenye jami yenu. Kwenye maisha yako. Megine ulisahao. Someone gave me a very interesting testimony last week. Akanambia vile alifanya siku moja wazazi wake na neighbor hako anaelewana so wakatukanana wagetukanana so the parents wake na parents wa neighbor wagetukanana na siku moja akasikia mejaza akakuta kijana wa ile boma 
akaanza kumtukana na mama yake na baba yake akamtukana 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 na yeye kijana akamwambia ni mama wazazi wangu natukana nitaenda kukawambia nitawaambia okay never it never went anywhere kwa sababu bibi atakama wazazi waliambiwa na already wako na my issues they could not sort that now two weeks ago apostle kwa kudu mambo ya uh, uh, deep repentance this is a man of god he is serving somewhere in a city ame hud ame ame eda kwenye deep repentance then amelala a dream comes kwa ile ndoto anaonyesha katoto kadogo kana tukana mtu mkubwa kaka tukanana kaka tukanana kaka tukanana alafu kamka kauliza what manner of dream is this akakubushwa 40 years ago you remember what you did to the parents of so and so you need to deal with that you are now in authority you are a pastor there is a level you can never enter because of what you did many years ago because you dealt you 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 you, you confronted a, a, a parent who was an authority to you and the enemy was able to catch to grip akashika authority yako akarabia pastor mimi ninataka uniombe ni saidie niongoze kwa hii confession kwa sababu i knew it this is what happened and it came so wakati nilifundua hilo na 40 years ago nilijua this what has been eating me up aka confess kisha baadaye akapiga yule mzee simu sasa ni wazee ziku zile walikuwa ni vijana wadogo sahi ni mzee akamwambia fulani uko salama eh how many uh, pali ya masiku eh hey, wakaongea akamwambia unakumbuka ile siku tulitukanana na nikatukana mama yako sana akamwambia kae niandike ni maudo matena hii umenikumbusha mambo ya zamani sana akamwambia ni kweli lakini nimepiga simu kutubu kwa uh, sababu ile kitu nilifanya wazazi wako najua walipumzika lakini samee ah kama mimi nimekusamehe baadaye akaangalia kwa mpesa akamtumia kitu akanyamazisha ile mambo let me tell you maybe mtumishi kama yule agedaganjika na position agedaganjika na ile kiwango wako lakini ako katika office fulani but there is nothing to show for the office he is holding because the enemy was able to drain from his life the authority he could have gotten ah si muka katusaidia in this prayer season that god is going to develop our our sense of hearing in the spirit yakoba mungu hata uliza kama alivyo kwa uliza wakati wa isaia who shall i deliver this message ni nani atakayefunulia mambo haya this is just a child ameka miaka 10 katika wakovu amekerwa mikono amebatizwa ndio lakini bado ni mtoto siwezi tukafunulia mambo ambayo yanafanyika kwenye jamii yao na nisema kwenye kwenye mlima ni watu watu wamekucha amekucha kuomba mungu anawaambia mungu ni bariki nitende mungu anawaambia hapana don't even pray about that don't usiku mibia naletewa ndoto anafunuliwa a, a full copy ya maisha yake anaambiwa shughulikia hili jambo na hili jambo na hili jambo ukishashughulikia hiyo hii prayer list yako yote hautaiombea ile mambo yote itatendeka and that is not one testimony is not true two there are many testimonies Therefore need up when college as we get to the next prayer season oh we need to pray to god bwana mimi nataka natamani kukoma kiroho ningetaka tuweze kuanza kuomba asubuhi ya leo nataka uweze kujiombea asubuhi ya leo bwana nisaidie sigetaka bwana mungu wangu niishi katika kiwango kimoja niishi kwenye level moja katika jina la Yesu Kristo sitaki kutaganyika kwa sababu ya position sitaki kutaganyika kwa sababu ya kile kiwango niko lakini nataka kukuamini mungu ukanifunulia mambo ya siri mambo yaliyojificha katika jina la Yesu Kristo oh situkaweze kusimama Indu mikono yako piga magoti kama unaweza mahali uko mwambie bwana ninatamani ninatamani kukujua zaidi oh because i want to get it to a spirit it to, to invade the spirit yet i cannot be able to because of the level that i am in mwambie bwana ninatamani wewe about limsaidia Ezekiel kwenye siku zake ukamfungua aliweza kusikia licha kwamba kulikuwa na na, na, na stalemate kwenye maisha yake taifa lao liko limeshikwa taifa farao lilikuwa kwenye mahame walikuwa wameenda wameshikwa mapteka waka kwenye nchi ya Babylon lakini aliweza kusikia sauti yako Yesu akauliza bona hamsiki sauti yangu bwana amekuwa kitunenea lakini kiwango ambacho tuko ndani yake we are in the physical realm he is in the spiritual realm Yesu akasema the words i speak the spirit and the life only the spirit the bible says the book of first corinthians ya kwamba it is only the spirit 
yule ambaye yako katika roho ndiye anaweza kusikia mambo yaliyo katika roho mambo ya kimwili aliye ndani ya mwili hawezi akasikia mambo ambayo yako katika mwili akaweza tu kuhesi akakubali mambo yaliyo katika roho because they are spiritually discerned oh god how we desire we have been we have been blindfolded by possessions we have been blindfolded oh god even by the ministers that we serve wengine kwa sababu ya possession wako wengine kwa ile dini tuko ndani yake oh inatuambia kwamba haufai kufanya hivi haufai kufanya vile lakini imekuwekea limitations the lord wants us to break those denominational barriers those denominational limitations ambazo zimewekwa zinatuzuilia katika jina la Yesu Kristo there is so much more in the spiritual realm kuna mambo mazito mungu anaweza kukufunulia kuna mambo mazito mambo ambayo kiwango ambacho hata hujaifika unaweza kuwa unahubiri vizuri ndio ndio unaweza kuwa na mungu anakutumia na prophetic messages wengine uko na word of knowledge word of wisdom discernment of spirits ndio uko nazo but there is a place called higher there is a place that is deeper than where you have been before in the name of Jesus Christ the more you are able to hear god the more you are able to rise higher oh my father my god how i desire this morning that the church without walls we are going to grow we are going to forge forward we are going to invade territories we are going to take dominion in the areas of ministry in the areas of business katika jina la Yesu Kristo haleluya niseme hivi the voice of god is progressive what god spoke yesterday today he will speak something different wakati unapoendelea kusikiza mungu nobody has to go sisemeni kama nimekomaa sana sihitaji kusikia mungu tena no that's a lie even today you need to hear god more every day god is speaking tutaendelea mchana tutadwell sana na kitabu cha ezekiel utaona ezekiel Ezekiel ni mtu mkeko mnekana hapo mnaongea. In a flash of a second hivi shop amepelekwa ulimwengu wa kiroho. Arabu Ezekiel kuja nikuonyeshe kitu anampelekwa kwenye madhabahu. Anatobolewa shimo, anaingizwa. Unaona ile mambo inafanyika hapa? Yaani anapelekwa kwa siri. Mambo ambayo alikuwa anafanya kwa siri. Where are we today? Things are happening in our nation, in our backyard, in our own families. Na huwezi gundua God is trying to speak to you. Look this direction. Angazia hili eneo. Kuna kitu kinaendelea. Ngo hakuna mtu anasikia. Oh my God. How I pray that in this season God shall open our ears. God shall open our ears as I invite the praise and worship team. Oh situkamombe Mungu kuliga na hiyo kitabu cha Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17, 18 and 19. Tumwambie Bwana open the eyes of my heart. Open my understanding. I want to see you. I want to hear you. I want to understand things of the spirit. Oh tumekaa siku nyingi kwenye ulimwengu in the in the face of Korea. Yet God is speaking to us from the spiritual realm. Oh we need to outgrow the face of Korea and enter into the spiritual realm in the name of Jesus Christ praise and worship to the worship the short scholars to come and be bana subu ya leo ya kwamba mwana ninatamani kukujua ninatamani kuingia zaidi the bible says in galatians 5:25 since we live by the spirit let us keep in step with the spirit we need to keep in step with the spirit when he moves we move when he stops he stops oh in the name of jesus christ wengine umeshikilia tu ile neno mungu alikunenea zamani but the will of god the voice of god is progressive kuna mahali mungu anakuelekeza siku baada ya siku the lord is reading you even as we venture into the spiritual realm as we do spiritual inventions oh mungu atatusaidia we cannot do inventions in the spirit if we don't have the the, the ability to hear from the voice of from god when he is speaking when he is moving we cannot see when he is moving we cannot hear oh mwambie bwana asubuhi ya leo nisaidie bwana nisaidie mfalme nisaidie mungu niunganishe na roho mtakatifu ninatamani kutembea 
katika kilindi cha mambo katika kilindi cha mambo ya kiroho kuna watu ambao kuna mambo mengi yametendeka kwenye jamii yenu the, the spirit is yearning in, 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 in him that he would only you would only take a step forward anze kukufulia mambo yale uanze kuyashughulikia oh the holy spirit has a cry this morning there is a cry i hear in the spirit this morning the spirit yearns to reveal many things to people but they are, they, they, they lack in the level they are serving god from they lack in the depth where they are serving god wengine wanatumikia mungu tuko katika oh kwenye ufua bahari ya kiroho roho mtakatifu anatamani kukufulia mambo mazito yaliyo kule ndani oh my god si ukatusaidie help us to hear your voice help us to hear your voice just tell the lord this morning open the eyes of my heart lord open the eyes of my heart lord my Open the eyes of my heart I want to see you I want to see you Open the eyes of my heart Lord Open the eyes of my heart I want to see you I want to see you open the eyes of my heart open the eyes of my heart Lord open the eyes of my heart I want to see you I want to see you I want to see you Jesus I want to see you see Asubuhi leo ningetaka tukomwambie Bwana that is not just a song to us this morning this is our cry open the eyes of our heart that we may see you Madishi wa Zaburi akasema lead me to a rock that is higher than I lead me to the depths that I've never been before the are depths in the things of the spirit the are things in the depths of the spirit kuna mambo ambayo ni yakina yako kule ndani ndio mtakatifu anatamani kutufungua macho tukaone beyond the obvious dicha kwamba Ezekiel alikuwa katikati ya watu waadhiriwa wa wakati wa mfungo ule wakati wa that Babylonian captivity yet he was able to see things that the others could not see this is my prayer this season that I'll be able to see beyond the covid-19 I'll be able to see to the realms of the spirit I will see new ventures I'll see new opportunities oh doors shall open the special yama natuma malaika wa Mungu kusini kaskazini magharibi na mashariki natangaza malaika wa kasaidie kufungua masikio ya watu wakafungue macho ya watu let the scales of the spirit fall off let every dumb ear let every blind eye open let every deaf ear hear now 
in the name of Jesus Christ natagaza kwenye msemo huu we are getting you are getting to the depths of the things of the spirit tunaingia kwenye virindi tunaingia kwenye virindi kwa mambo ya kiroho we are doing spiritual invasions spiritual invasions spiritual expeditions oh my god tunaingia kwenye ulimwengu wa kiroho na kutamaraki na kunyakua utajiri oh treasure hidden in dark places in the name of Jesus Christ oh father in heaven how i thank you this morning thank you for your word the entrance of your word bring it right it gives understanding to the simple oh my father how i pray that it shall not be as it was in the days of isaiah ali pauliza to whom shall i reveal these secrets and to whom shall i give this deep stuff oh they are just but young they are infants oh they are vulnerable they cannot be able to handle these things oh my god this has been the state of the church in the nation the state of the church or in the world the church is so is so shallow in the things of the spirit but god you desire in this season in this window of opportunity one tufungulia huu mlango one tufungulia huu mwanya tukaweze kuingia si useme nitaingilia kwenye huu mwanya tangaza nitaingilia kwenye huu mwanya sitabaki nyuma tena nitaingilia kwenye huu mwanya umefungua mwanya wa kuventure into the deep there of the spirit ya mambo ambayo hayako kwenye surface yako kule kwenye virindi oh my god i thank you for opening ears Oh licha kwamba Yohana mbatizaji Yohana yule wa wa, wa ufunuo alikuwa kwenye 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 ametupwa oh in a, in a, in, a, in, a, in a very in a, in a very far away island oh god alone in my god yet in that situation we spoke to him because he did not allow the situation surrounding him to minister to him he allowed the spirit to minister to him how i pray for anyone yoyote bana pitia kwenye hali ngumu usiruhusu zile hali zikuministie usiruhusu zile hali zikuhudumie tangaza sitahudumiwa na hali tena sitahudumiwa na mbele matukio ya covid 19 na adhari zake nakataa kuhudumiwa na zile hali i open my ears even in the covid 19 situation my ears will hear my eyes will start seeing in the name of Jesus Christ i hear is this in the spirit this morning and as kerim ya subu ya leo kuna watu mungu anafungua macho hii chele ya mapito tunapitia ah katika ile hali mungu anakunenea mungu anafungua masikio yako maybe hata hii hali ipitia uweze kufunguka hiyo masikio uweze kufunguka macho yako ukaanze kuona mambo ambayo ungeona ukaanze kusikia kufahamu na pia kupambanua mambo ambayo yalikuwa yamejificha katika ulimwengu wa kiroho father we thank you father we give you praise 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 this morning as you meditate upon that word today as you pray through it tutaendelea wakati wa lunch wa pia na najua kwamba Mungu atazidi kutuhudumia nasikia kuna bingu imefunguka kuna mambo Mungu anataka kufanya I hear this morning there is a work God wants to do a quick work cut short in righteousness kuna kazi Mungu anataka kufanyia mwili wa Kristo nyakati zetu it will be a quick work a great work but it will be cut short in righteousness itafanyika kwa wepesi na kwa kasi kubwa watch this space kuna watu ambao maybe say unasema ndio mimi naona mimi ni mtoto wa kiroho but spiritual growth can take very short time ukute Mungu amekuingiza kwa mambo mazito na kwa mambo ya kina sana may the lord bless you this morning may his light shine upon you this Wednesday morning even as we come to the close of this month of September tunatangaza tunafunga huu mwezi we are crossing over tonight to the month of October we are crossing over with no evil crossovers of the month of September in Jesus name na kila deficit ambao umepata mwezi huu wa sita tunapoingia mwezi wa kumi. oh Mungu atakusaidia the bible says he will crown the year with his goodness his love and joy forever the remaining two or three months of the year na mimi kwamba god is going to crown your year this will be the best year ever wengine wanasema hii kwamba hii 2020 isihesabiwe but me i say this is the year of breaking limits this is the year i'm going to reach a level i've never been before you must agree with the prophetic because the prophetic takes the lead in the spiritual realm god bless you have a blessed day tutaonana saa saba god willing keep in prayers also plan to be part of the uh, seven days of prayers and fasting october prayer festival 
the Lord be with you. May he grant you the grace to fast. Even you can start earlier by partial fasting and we even join up to the to the next or, or to the to the next week let it be a build up day by day in Jesus name arav jabringine don't miss out on any session we are doing lunch morning devotion lunch hour on friday we have even a kesha uh, it flows up to sunday who si miss any session because it's a build up uki miss kitu kimoja there will be a missing link in your life may the holy spirit of the lord the living god help you through in Jesus name i pray amen god bless you so much have a good day in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Bless you Jesus. Ni afungue macho yangu. Nikuone Bwana. Badilisha mawazo yangu. Yote. Nionyeshe Could you zaidi Bwana niwe kama wewe Bwana niwe kama wewe Yafungue macho yangu ni